What's up guys, Oscar Gomez here from Master Automotive Training, SmartAutotraining.com. It's Tuesday guys, it can only mean one thing, Tech Tip Tuesday. So on today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about when it's acceptable to use a Bar 97 instead of the DAT OIS. Go ahead and stay tuned guys, Tech Tip Tuesday starts right now. You ever get a box truck come in for a smart check and you're like, well, this is a 2008, so I should be on the DAD. But then you're like, wait, it's too heavy, so should I do it on the Bar 97? What do I do? Should I just call it quits? Don't sweat it, guys. We're going to go over those details. Here they are. So you have a 2000 and newer vehicle that comes in for a smart check inspection and it's less than 14,000 pounds. However, on the under the hood label, it states that the vehicle is not OBD2 compliant. At that point, you can dial it into the data OIS. The data OIS is gonna tell you that this vehicle doesn't require or is not compliant to OBD2. You print that out. Then from there, you go back to your bar 97. Then you go ahead and do your full on inspection. The reason why I'm having you print that is in case the bureau comes back and says, hey, this should have been done on the data OIS. You have proof that the data OIS said, ah, 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 do it on the bar 97. If you have a gasoline vehicle that's 2,000 and newer, over 14,000 pounds, that one automatically goes to the bar 97. However, you still require to dial it into the data OIS. Once you dial it into the data OIS, then you can go ahead and print that, then proceed to the bar 97. If the box truck you get is powered by CNG, LNG, or LPG, and it's under 14,000 pounds, and it doesn't have California OBD2 compliance, then you're gonna dial it out on the data OIS, data OIS, print that screen, then move over to the bar 97 and complete the inspection. If you have an LNG, LPG, or CNG that's over 14,000 pounds, they are exempt from smog check inspections, so you shouldn't even be inspecting it anyway. What if it's a diesel? Well, diesels, if they're over 14,000 pounds, you shouldn't be inspecting them either way. And if they're under 14,000 pounds, you're still gonna go ahead and inspect them on the data OIS. If the vehicle is not OBD2 compliant, the data OIS is gonna have you do the OBD functional check on the bulb, and then that'll pass the actual exam. If it's a hybrid, it doesn't matter, you're running it on the data OIS, you do not have any exclusions, and you shouldn't be running it on the bar 97. Quick recap, guys, so the vehicle is gasoline powered, and it's under 14,000 pounds. As long as it's not OBD2 certified, you can run it on the bar 97. If it's gasoline and it's over 14,000 pounds, then obviously you would be running on the bar 97 anyhow because it's not OBD2 compliant. If you have a vehicle that's diesel, all diesels are gonna be on the data OIS no matter what. If you got a hybrid, data OIS, no exceptions. If you have a vehicle that's CNG, LPG, and um, LNG, then under 14,000 pounds, this vehicle it will not be OBD2 certified. You can run it on the bar 97. If it's over 14,000 pounds, those vehicles are excluded from the smog check inspection, so you shouldn't be inspecting it anyway. Make sure, guys, that if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that follow button, follow us on Instagram, go ahead and follow us on Facebook, make sure you guys subscribe to us on YouTube. We're working very hard to give you guys the best because we wanna make sure that you guys are the best. If you're not the best, you're on the wrong channel. I want you to be the best. You are gonna be the best, and by listening to hear us here at MAT, I'm gonna make sure you become the best. So as always, guys, a good technician's always learning. Signing off here, Oscar Gomez, smartautotraining.com.